it's Laurie. Welcome to Laurie Fay Art once again. We are doing a pet portrait. The pet portrait for this week is a commission that I did on a dog and his name is Pete. They used to call him Petey. Petey died at 21 years of age and that, as you know, if you know anything about dogs, you know that 21 is a pretty good innings for a dog and their owners wanted to have a painting so that they can remember him so I set off on my merry way and did just that so today's tip is to paint what you see and not what you think you see I think a really big part of art is learning the process of painting what we actually see instead of putting it together in our mind and painting what we think we see with references we can really hone in on looking at the picture and being practical about it rather than letting imagination take its course now with this picture this particular picture you can see that his actual pose he is looking up at the camera and his back is going off into the distance and I found that a little bit tricky to get my mind around that but once I made the focal point his head and I got the perspective of him looking up then I felt that the rest just followed suit. I will leave you with the actual painting and you can watch the process and tip number two today is using a background that actually works. So with this one it had a green background and I didn't feel that the green worked with the colors of the blacks and the grays the green to sort of took over so I decided to go with the blue because that really brings out the colors in the blacks and it also in the grays I was going to do it a little bit lighter but then I thought the boldness may help pop that white from his chest and his back there so it's quite an interesting one this one I felt the need to do focus on his head first as you can see that's what I'm doing and then I worked my way backwards into the painting and then obviously the layers as I always do first I block in all the color and then I I come back and start doing more detail and more detail as as it goes on my paintings always go through an ugly stage I'm not sure if everyone's does that let me know in the comments if you can relate to the ugly stage in your paintings I'm not sure but it's something that most most of my paintings go through I get to a stage where I'm not sure that I like it anymore if I push through and I keep going and that took me a while to learn because when I first started learning how to paint and how to do these things I'm a self-taught artist I've never had a lesson and I just would be so disappointed in what was happening on the canvas I would give up and put it aside and not touch it again for sometimes forever sometimes I just found it very aesthetic to put my foot through it as I progress and this has been years I, I've painted ever since I can remember so this has taken a long time to learn that yeah it might not be what I want it to be and I have to let go of that control just allow it to happen and if I push past the ugly stage I start to like what I'm doing again so if you can relate to the ugly stage <laughs> I would love to hear from you in the comments um, I really enjoy watching everybody's videos and the connection that we are all bringing here on YouTube with our art especially in times like now where people are isolated and they're needing that connection to people and things that they're familiar with so it's been really lovely I I really am enjoying the process of YouTube so that's it for today I will see you next video stay safe